Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Calendly with Outlook. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at Calendly.com or log in to our existing account. Once we are in here at our workspace, we want to move to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. There are a couple of integrations that we can straight away uh, integrate Calendly with, but uh, there is no Microsoft Outlook yet. So we are going to need help of third-party app, which will be in our case automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description under in this video. Once we're in here, yet again, let's go to the top corner of our screen and click on integrations. Now, once this pop-up window show up, let's go to the bottom left part and click on see all categories. Once we're in here, we want to go and address the first app that we want to integrate, which is uh, Calendly. On the other hand, we want to pick its counterpart. In our case, Microsoft Outlook. Now we are greeted with some popular integrations. Uh, that uh, automate.io uh, pre-made it for us. But if you won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side, underneath the triggers, we want to start with Calendly. There are two options, new event or event cancellation. So it's pretty much up to you. I'll go with new event. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you really want to go with Microsoft Outlook option. So let's stick to the first one. Once you click on try it now, you get redirected. And the last thing you have to do is to log in or register to your automate.io account. We can also use zapier.com, which is very similar app to, to automate. Uh, once we're in here, let's go to the top left corner and create a zap. Right now, we also have to start with a trigger app, in our case, Calendly. Trigger event, uh, invite it cancelled or invite created. Let's go with the first one. Continue. Now we have to log in to our Calendly account. Continue. And now we have to test the, uh, or we can test the trigger between Calendly and Zapier. On the second action, we want to go with Outlook, as you probably thought. Also, we have to pick an event. We hit continue. And now we, all, uh, now we also have to log in to our Microsoft Outlook account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.